Okay, it is gone, and now we can press on this switch here, which does lead us forward, so I do want to actually go back and still avoid this fight uh, because of that LA funk. I refuse to use magic for random encounters, you know what I mean? Uh, so, wait, this leads to the same spot? I swore. Hmm. So we'll see what which side this goes up to. We'll get a clearer picture of what I'm actually doing here as we continue heading up. I can't hit him while he's got the balloon on him. What's the point of the balloon then? No, seriously. I can't seem to hit him at all. What the hell? It's fucking shell something. I remember their names, I swear. Down it goes and another chocolate that won't fit. Probably should heal again as well. Let's go up the right side. And this does lead us to a treasure chest, which could probably only mean one thing, which is a gloves orb. And it's casting freeze level three. Are we doing any damage to it? Because if not, I'm just going to run again. Like I said, anytime that you're... Yeah, we're not doing damage to these guys. Um... Uh, Undyne reaches level 3 because of that. Very nice. It means a little bit less grinding for me. And I think, yeah, I actually managed to glitch the system there and uh, get out of there without receiving any magic damage. Let's just move on again. I believe those are specters uh, that we had avoided there. Uh, so let's just continue avoiding them and head up here where I can fight things that I feel like I can kill. That seems to be my M.O. in this game, is just avoid the monsters that I don't feel like killing. Because it, they either require magic, or they just won't normally die to regular physical attacks. Let's head up this side, and this does lead us forward. And that is the right switch for us to press. And now we have another new enemy. This one I feel a little bit better about taking on. I forget what the name of this guy is. I think it's Weepy Eye. Um, as if he's crying. Well, we're not really going to find out because he died so damn fast. And here we have Mystic Books. And they go down pretty easy if I can get a couple shots off on them. Yeah, the... The ghosts. What, what are you going to do with all these ghost enemies? I mean, how many enemies have we encountered thus far that... Alright, let's see if I can hit them with a uh, charge attack here. That is pretty much, well, one of three options that I have. A regular physical attack, right? Then a charged up attack, and then magic. As you can see there, I did absolutely... What the hell was that book? Did you see that? And then it, you... Oh, that is bullshit. It, it stole 81 of my health. That is absolute bullshit, and I can't even seem to hit it. What the hell is going on? What the hell is that? What the hell is going on here? Can I hit it from the side? How can I not hit this thing? It's a book. I'm moving on then. I'm moving on. Yeah, you go ahead and you loot, use your barrier. And I need to heal again. This is starting to get ridiculous. That is my last heal. I I don't want to go back and try to and try to, to, to farm fairy walnuts. I do have a few. I, I'd rather not use them if that's okay with you. Holy crap! Look at all this damage that's being done to us. That is that is really starting to get ridiculous. Why couldn't I hit the mystic book? Why couldn't I hit anything? We're, we're just running through. This guy, I feel like I could take on. There you go. It is a weepy eye, uh, but I don't know if I want to take him on with these ghosts right there. Down it goes, so let's just head through the door. You're not being nice to me, game. And now we're trapped with all these books. But as long as I can hit them, today they're saying that I can hit them. Uh, maybe it's that lucid barrier that was preventing me from hitting them. I'm not sure. Yancey levels up, though. Gets all her health back. Yeah, now I can't hit them anymore. I'm, I'm not going around your barrier. No! <laughs> and we fall, unfortunately. Which sends us back here. 
for boss time up against Tawn Poles. Uh, I guess you could say it's Tawn Poles, but, well, it's a boss fight. Yeah, technically it is a boss fight uh, because, well, I guess the uh, proper way to look at it is uh, results, what you get out of it, even though, to be honest, remember these guys, they were not that difficult. Uh, there's just three of them now, uh, which ups the difficulty slightly. I wouldn't say it makes it three times as hard because, of course, uh, we can just chain our attacks like I am right here with these two guys. Almost. Almost. You know, you can keep them out of the phase, you know, try to push them against each other. You can't really punch bosses, though. But I'm sure you understand what I mean. Damn it. And they cure each other. You dicks. Did he not do any damage to me? What the hell? Stop eating me! If you guys could hit him, that'd be appreciated. Still no damage done to me, though. But we are taking on now three biting lizards. Uh, are their upgrade form names. Uh, they are no longer tadpoles, of course. They are lizards, because lizards evolved from, from tadpoles. Totally. Damn it! Stop curing yourselves. That is not cool. These guys do have quite a bit of health, and it's hard to say uh, how much damage I have done to them because they keep on healing themselves. If they bunch up like that, that's going to make things exceedingly easy for me, uh, should they stop healing themselves. Yeah, look at that, 187 damage. Damn it, Shion levels up because we did take one of them out, it looks like. Uh, which is nice. So now she gets that level up and, well, she gets all her health back. So it's just uh, Jake that is short on health. Now, is that this guy dead? I think it is because nobody's attacking him anymore. So we're down to just the one once again. Not that difficult. Um, geez, stop healing yourself. Holy crap, he healed himself for 192. No wonder I'm having so much difficulty, well not difficulty, it's taking me so long to take these guys out. Uh, because if I remember right, they only have like 600 and something health. Uh, but down they finally go. They are weak to fire, of course. Oh, well, fine then. Well, the, the battle music implies that it is boss uh, time, but I swore that you got a good, um, like an orb out of that. I can't switch to him when, interesting. Uh, let's go for uh, Candy. I can't switch to him when he's frosty, unfortunately. Yeah, we need to heal here. And I will uh, cut out this fight with the blue drop. Alright, it is dead, and there is an LA funk hanger right there. So let's just move on. Just fine. No, magic rope is not what I wanted to use. That is my fault. I wanted to use the whip, and I got that confused for a second. There we go. There is the whip. Come on, everybody. What? There we go. What was you guys' problem? You were going off in the middle of nowhere. Use the whip. Damn it. There we go. I will use the whip so that I can get out of here. Let me go. And we can head up here. Once again, not going to fight the enemies that require magic. Let's just step on the switch. And there we go, up against some, some enemies that I know I can deal with. Let's go back to the Claymore. And I believe, isn't Shion still working on the spear? And damn it, yonzi has been moogled. Let's just keep killing these guys. Lucent Beam! Nope, oh, how much damage does that do? Like 40 something. These guys can be tough in bunches, apparently. Moogled. Uh, how dare you moogle my party members. Is that still not dead? And I can't hit him while he's like... What the hell is going on with these guys? Like, there are certain things... There we go. Finally, they go down. 69 damage. You don't have any more MP. Uh, so... I hate using one right now, but... We need it. We need it for now. Get all your MP back, as you saw that cured 50. Uh, we don't have anywhere close to that. Uh, let's go ahead and go for healing on everybody. Now, if I remember correctly, I want to take one second here before I do move on.
Okay, I think I'm as ready as I'm gonna be. Let's head in here, where we have a long hallway. Be gone! What? Well, no. Quite conceited for a child. Time for your punishment. Come. And surprise, surprise, it is boss time. We are up against the Frost Giga. So, as you might assume, he is weak to fire, so we're going to be doing that. We are also going to be casting Flame Saber on everybody because uh, Flame Saber should really help us out with this fight. And in fact, I'm going to be charging up my sword. I'm not going to be charging up anybody else's, though, anybody else's weapon, uh, because he. You can only hit him while he's while he's fully formed, and I don't trust anybody else to really hit him. And uh, the magic has already faded. There we go, 316 on that last attack, and now he has casted Ice Saber. I believe it's still Ice Saber, not uh, Frost Saber, on uh, everybody. So we need to cast the Flame Saber back, and of course, once he. Let's try to charge this up again. I was about to say, we, we need to use more fireball, but... There we go. That is how I can do that. And then s quickly switch while Jake is attacking. And how much damage that time? Just 66, and, and Jake has been frostied. That is not cool. And he's been frostied again. What the hell? Unfortunately, that means that this time I'm not going to go. Well, let's try to charge up with Sheen a little bit because she's not really doing anything else. My attack at yeah, 37. Not that great, is it? Uh, let's go for a fireball on him. Hopefully, nope, he faded away before uh, we were able to get that attack off. He tends to do that. So you want to go for as high as you can up to level 4. I don't think we got fires on still. 